OSG is jamming out. Literal jams. Are you excited to try them? I'm excited to try them. I have got to go for a run down by the lake. She's gonna do her jam thing. We're gonna come back and we're gonna have some of that delicious jams. And then after that, we're gonna go take a look on the sonar at the baby. At sonar? At sonar, at the down scan. Huh? What did you call it last time? What was with your boat? The down imaging? No, the, what's, what's the brand of um, thing on your boat that you can see the fish and the, the sea? At the, at at the, the Lawrence? Sea. <laughs> yeah. You know, take that lower hands and get it on down there and get that down's hand system on it. We're gonna take a look at that daggum baby. So exciting vlog today. It's time for the run in the woods. Let's go! I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling really great. I've been stretching a lot lately. And I was doing a lot of trail runs before uh, my brain surgery. And then obviously I got out of it when I had the surgery because I couldn't really go. And I've started to get back into it again. But I've been stretching a lot, taking care of myself, eating good, of course, because I live with OSG. She's a dietitian. And I feel great. And this summer is going to mark one year of when I got diagnosed, I had uh, Willis. And I think what amplified that was that I was running myself into the ground last year. Fishing is great in the summer. That's when the views are high and everyone's really interested because everyone around the country it seems like around the world is into fishing at that time. Collaborating with all my buddies and try to do different projects and doing videos as much as possible, it just ran me in the ground where I wasn't getting sleep and I've learned how important sleep is for your body's recovery. It helps you tremendously in the long run. And we still got some work to do on old Willis. Still some of him left. He's growing back. So what we gotta do is just continue to take care of ourselves. So keep stress levels down. Make sure I'm getting plenty of sleep, exercising, eating right. I want to know, I want to find out what's causing these tumors and the, and the rapid growth of tumors. But it's also this crazy time in my life where I know there's another life that I'm responsible for and gonna be taken care of and I'm gonna love and cherish our baby. That comes first to me. Um, I'm due to go back into my doctor around the same time the baby is due, I think I'm gonna put off uh, any treatment uh, for my brain until uh, the next year, you know? I mean, that may not be good, but it's just like financially, it's a huge thing, and I know baby's gonna be a big uh, financial thing. It's just one of those big life things I'm, I'm gonna put off um, until next year, and hopefully it doesn't grow back that much. But what we need to do with Willis is freeze it in time, so they take radiation, they zap the tumor. I don't wanna say zap, that's a terrible, pfft, sounds like a sci-fi movie. But they'll treat the tumor um, and then it prevents it from growing even more. So I'll be living with a tumor in my brain for the rest of my life. However, lots of people that live with small tumors in their brain and they don't even know it. So that's the plan, that's the goal. Spitting it all out here this morning and letting you guys know. Oh. That's the one right there. God, I feel so old. This is turtle level stretching right here. That me on barrel line troll motor all day, mate. Oh, okay, we gotta go. That was a doozy. Had to do it pretty quick because of the storms trying to make this appointment, but right now we have got to go get some breakfast and some homemade jam. Let's go see what it's like. Hey, we're back in the kitchen, right? Uh, no, it's cooled off now. Mm, smells very natural. It's very sweet. You devour that? Mm-hmm. The jam was a little runny. Uh, the taste was phenomenal. Uh, the looks were phenomenal. I would rate it an eight, as long as there's no salmonella in it or anything. And now it starts to rain. There's a feather in my face. There's a feather in your face. Catch my dreams, feather. So at this point, I'm assuming everything is, is there. <laughs> what right? do you mean? Like, it looks. <laughs> well, the first image we ever got was what, like. It was eats. a blinking light. Yeah. And it <laughs> of a heartbeat. Like a little flickering. Like one of those little Christmas lights that's barely <laughs> coming on. It did. But it's got 10 fingers, 10 toes, arms, and legs. Well, yes. I can tell. <laughs> ten, 10 toes, 10 fingers. <laughs> we made it to 10, guys. I hope it's got a good brain. <laughs> Hope it doesn't take after old Bob. <laughs> so I know you guys are just itching for a gender reveal. We're gonna do it. I was actually looking at gender reveal stuff last night. Uh, things that we can do. 
There's all sorts of gender reveal things on the internet. So the <laughs> surprise is gonna be just for y'all. Whoa. A one. Look at this blue water down here. What is going on there? <laughs> I wonder if there's some fish or some daggum geese over there. Wow, that is zoomed in right there. <laughs> The camera has such a slow zoom. It's, it's so dramatic. Yeah, it's a melodramatic <laughs> zoom. It's time to go in there and see what's going on in that belly. Oh yeah. Are you ready to see this baby? I wonder if you could see like the face. Have you seen those like 3D um, sonograms where like you can like see? Yeah, I thought that's what we we're doing. I mean, we're doing a sonogram, but we're not doing a 3D sonogram. That's an extra charge. Oh yeah, yeah. We're on a budget sonograms. <laughs> We're, we're on that. We just uh, get the black and whites. We're on that Lorette side imaging budget right now. <laughs> so uh, we're up here at the Bass Pro Shops. About to go in here and see what the manager can hook us up with. I'm a serious adult. This is a serious thing. <laughs> I apologize. All right, OSG is getting her weight and uh, their stuff here at the uh, women's doctors. Wow. This is an awkward place to be as a man, I will tell you. Walking down the hallway with all those women, you're just like, is there like a, is there like a man cave here that, you know, for dudes that come with their wives can kind of chill out in, um, just look at some like man stuff, but there's not. You just have to endure. It makes you a stronger human though. Man, <laughs> this is like overload. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, the nurse came in and I was like, is that thing right there, is that, is that the unit for um, like the sonar? She's like, no, that's a light source. <laughs> and it took me a minute and I was like, why do you need a light source? Oh yeah, oh. that's what that's for. There's some other dark places. So um, <laughs> anyway, that's just one of those man moments where you're like, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut now. I was gonna say you're glad that you're a guy and not in this situation. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to be a man, I, I love it. Um, I'm, I love what you're doing over there, making that baby. <laughs> but I'm really happy I don't have to push that thing out. Uh, yeah. I just get to kind of sit on the sidelines and cheer. You I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a male cheerleader. Like you can do it, honey. <laughs> you got this. Are you gonna be filming that? I don't know. You want me to? No. No. <laughs> you don't want to strap a GoPro on and. and While well, I'm giving birth, no. I'd yeah. rather not. Give it the old heave ho. Like it may it. not be your best moment, yeah, quite honestly. Probably. I, you might be scared I, of me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, that, this is one of those things you just kind of, maybe there's parts of it you want to block out of your mind. So she was saying that it's crazy that you can actually see the kicks yeah, and feel I the kicks. Yeah, it's not normal because I'm still... You're like a skinny girl. And I can see them, which is crazy. Like you can actually see the hand or the foot yeah, like come good. out. So I guess if you have low body fat is what she said, you can actually see that. So that's, that's probably one of the best compliments you could get yeah, as a, as a pregnant cool. lady. You know, if you're seeing those kicks. Stuff. Oh, we wow. want to have for you. Are we don't need nice. cold. I was gonna say in the movies, I always say it's cold. <laughs> we'll be we're, we're here. pretty nice. We like to do warm. Oh whoa! Whoa, whoa. that's crazy. <laughs> whoa, that's so zoomed in. Am I seeing the spine there? Yeah, in the you're seeing oh. lots of stuff. Isn't that okay. crazy? Wow. wow. That is wild. So, like, how does everything look? So the heart looks really good. The heart looks good? So far, sir. That's the heartbeat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at those little like claws. Those are <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> looks kind of scary <laughs> to be honest. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Those are gonna be coming out. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> All done. <laughs> we did good. That was awesome. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel good, but I feel naked, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I changed really quick. Yeah, sorry. The sonogram was like a good 10 minutes, and they were like looking at all the different organs and the spinal cord. Oh my gosh, it looks like a. Yeah, the ribs and the spinal cord. It's crazy. You can see it all. Um, things are coming together, finally. Finally. Like within the month, things yes. will be yes. together. Move. Things are happening. So anyway, subscribe, hit the ding dongs for more. But we are excited parents. If you think we're overly excited, too bad. That's a weird looking thing right there. It really is. Look how long its neck is, how eager it is. Oh, it sees you. Oh, it's creepy. It's like a giraffe, but. I know, it's like a little giraffe. Llama good life. <laughs> Me and OSG are doing a little home uh, looking. 
just check out some things, check out some neighborhoods. We just discovered a new neighborhood that we didn't even know was around. If the house we're looking at doesn't work out, maybe we can move in there. It's really close to the lake, which I love. But they're like 1970s summer camp homes. Literally. Which she may not love. Well, it's one of those like communities where you need a golf cart that you just hop on over to your friend's house. I love it. Good vibes out in the out in the daggum woods, close to the lake. Summer camp life. I feel like you're as close to a hippie as possible without actually verbally stating that. Okay. So I started my day with a run. And I finished mine with a walk. Gotta Power love. Walking. Is that the is that the move that when the you move. go into mommy mode? When I go into mommy. I mean, it's power first walks. First of all, I walk to the mom. She can outwalk me. She's a walker. She's a walker. She ran I track. I did too. In middle school. <laughs> <laughs> middle school, anything I don't think counts. Well, Let's no, apparently I wasn't good enough for volleyball in middle school. <laughs> you, just want, you didn't have those ups? No, my arms are way too small. Look at my Don't little wrist. Break wrists. your little fragile wrists. Those are the tiniest little wrists yeah. I've ever seen. I wonder if it would hurt. I wonder if our child is gonna have weak little wrists. I don't know. These glasses? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take them off. This is ridiculous. Okay, we've had a very long week. It's been crazy. Even in the last few minutes of life, we are still last few minutes of this vlog. Not our life. I apologize. <laughs> We've been on the phone with uh, lenders and tax people, uh, people that help me with my business, to try to get financing for a home. It's insane what they ask for these yeah. days. Don't remember this at all with our last house. I don't either. But anyways, guys, hang in there with us. I feel like we're close. Uh, we've got a house picked out that we really like, and I think it's going to be something that you guys are gonna really enjoy as well and I'm hoping everything goes goes good with it um, but if not we're gonna just keep our keep our heads down keep going keep our chins up and our eyes down does that make sense not really <laughs> there's two different sayings there's the saying of we keep our heads down just keep them at the grindstone that's what and you've been doing you've just been keep trucking I have you you have your head up and I have my head down just work it <laughs> uh, trying to make all the stuff happen so that's teamwork. That's what it's all about, baby. So it is time to end this vlog, y'all. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Hit the ding-dongs. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. Everybody knows that now. It's just the way they do it. Just go ahead and do it if you want to stay tuned. And we are getting up in the morning and heading to the lake. E.T. crappie fishing, e. baby. You gonna get over there, E.T.? Hey, you it's, been, it's been a while since I've been over in E.T. Well, you better get back to your roots, girl. Ooh. Get you some crappies. We're gonna do that hot. They're gonna do that hot sauce on them on them crappies. It's gonna be delish. I smell the ketchup cook coming. Stay tuned. We'll see Ooh. you then. That's the heartbeat.